Okay, so welcome to this video on how to use a half circle protractor. But before we learn how to use a half circle protractor, we need to learn some first key component. Anyways, let's just say this is a circle. A circle equals 360 degrees. Um, yeah, you should know. A straight line equals 180 degrees. That's 180 degrees. So if we add do a, one a circle, this one's 180 degrees too. 180 plus 180 equals 360. So that sort of makes sense. Now if we put this in half, oops. Oh my god. Sorry. Anyways, if we a right angle this is a um this is the symbol for right angle it's 90 degrees now a line this is 90 degrees 90 plus 90 equals 180 which is a line and 180 plus 180 equals 360 which is a circle 360 degrees uh, what about Half of um, a right angle. Well, it's 45 degrees. I don't need to um, teach you that because the most important is line, circle, and right angle. So let's go on to um, how to measure angles with a half circle protractor. And at least before I start um, teaching you how to use um, a half circle protractor. Here's an example of one. Usually I'll have a line like right here. Or sometimes I just have no line and you just line it up like right here. But um, the line usually shows you how you line it up. There will be a 90 degrees right here. Right here. Um, uh, that symbolizes right angle because it looks it's right in the center. That's a 90 degree. And then there's a 180, which is a straight line. You can see that this line is going straight forward. And that is 180 degrees. Anyways, I'm going to show you different types of half circle protractors. On this one, it has um, two numbers no matter what. 90, 90, most um, half circle protractors just have a giant 90, but this one's different. Saints bad or good. Um, I actually like this design a lot. Um, so yeah, I actually never tried any more designs. So that's where it makes sense. Anyways, um, on the top one, it usually goes downward when you go to the left. And why it does that? Well, let's just say, I'll give you a basic example. Sorry. Um, need to draw something. So let's just say. Well, this is an angle, and we have to measure x. So, this is going, um, actually, no, I'm going to, alright. So, why it goes downward is because the angle it gets lower because you're measuring from this side to up. I don't think you understand me, but anyways, um, I'm just gonna teach you how to measure. To measure angle, put um, the perpendicular or the middle onto um, like where um, they share a line. So it would be right here right now. And then this side will have to be matched up with this line. And that's, that should go up to 180 degrees. Sorry. Okay. That should go up to 180 degrees. Now, what we do is, we use this one. Actually, no, we use this one. Because if we're using this one, we're going downward. And usually, you always have to go upward. The numbers have to go up. So then we just go, go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 
100, 110, it's between 120 and 110. So then we just say, um, 110, oh, oh, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118. So this would be 118. This, so x equals 118 degrees. Now yeah, you already learned something. Um, but this one, now I'm going to give you a trickier one. Let's just say we are asked a question and we have to go find out the outer side. And this would be y. So how we do that is, well, a circle, like I said before, equals circle equals um, 360 degrees. So using that equation, let's just say this angle um, equal is x. And so um, what we do is y equals 360 degrees minus x. And how do we, do we find out x? Well, there. Now we have a half circle protractor. Now we try to figure it out. Um, let's see. Uh, it's going down right here. So match up the lines. Perfect. Now all we have to do is some counting. Now it's upside down. So you can either swap the paper around or just keep it like that and read backwards. Anyways, I'm just going to read backwards. Um, 21 right here, 22, 23, 24, 25. So this is x equals 25. Now we use the x equals 360 minus x, which x equals 25. I'm going to just do a simple equation, 160 minus 25. 5. And this one goes down and it's 3. So y equals, right down here, 335. Hope you learned something and see you on my next video. And next video is going to be about basic trigonometry. Hope you learned something or you took wasted 8 minutes of your life. Um, okay. Bye, I guess. Dot, dot, dot.